So one more theme I'm going to highlight, and then would love to answer any questions uh, or respond to any kind of thoughts or comments that any of you joining us today uh, might have. The last theme is um, that emerged during the meeting is really about the effect of these technologies on job skills. You know, there's a lot of debate out there, and some of this even showed up during the meeting about, you know, what is AI and these other technologies? What are they going to really mean for job displacement? Are they going to create more jobs? Are they going to lead to fewer jobs or maybe not have, you know, much of an impact at all? Um, although there's a lot of debate around that question, I think there's very little debate about the fact that it's going to mean major changes for many uh, jobs, particularly white collar jobs. And I recently was talking to an HR leader and, and they made an interesting comment that stuck with me. They said, you know, robotics is to blue collar workers what AI is to white collar workers. Meaning I think the disruption that we're likely to see uh, in AI is largely gonna be in the white collar space and really kind of going to reshape those jobs uh, you know, much more saliently. And so, um, you know, I think when we know that when jobs change, uh, sometimes they get better uh, and sometimes they get worse. And so I think HR will really play an important role in making sure that these changes move in a positive direction. Uh, for example, um, I think by focusing on reskilling and upskilling, uh, HR can really ensure that workers are prepared to navigate these changes uh, and are able to take on new responsibilities um, to ensure that their jobs remain, you know, enriching, engaging, uh, and really meaningful uh, at the end of the day. Uh, and so I think, you know, again, this was an example of where we can think of these tools as having kind of direct impact on kind of HR processes and practices, whether it's, again, talent acquisition or performance management, um, but there's also these kind of secondary impacts as it reshapes work, as it changes jobs and skills. I think these will also be key areas for those of us in HR to really be uh, working on and focusing on uh, as well.